Hey guys, uh, welcome back again. So we're going to start from 2A today. So that's pre intermediate workbook 2A. We're going to do the exercises of workbook unit 2A together. And that's pre intermediate. Um, so the first exercise is grammar, past simple, regular and irregular verbs. A is asking us to write the past simple of these verbs in the correct column. Okay, so we're going to do that. Argue is argued. Begin is irregular, so began. And um, arrive. So we're going to write arrived. Okay. Arrived. And ask. Asked. It's also a regular verb. By is irregular, so we're going to write here, board, board, okay, B-O-U-G-H-T, can, past simple is could, choose, also irregular, chose, and then eat, ate, ate, feel, uh, that's going to be felt, Past simple and invite. This is a regular verb. So we're going to write invite and then we just add D to it and becomes invited. Invited. Rent becomes rented. Past simple. Say is irregular. So said. We have to memorize these forms of the verbs because uh, it's very important in our everyday language. Say, said, study. So here, study, Y becomes I, and then ED, guys, yeah? Study it. Study it. All right, so that's done. We can move to the B exercise. Rewrite the sentences with a negative verb. Rewrite the sentence with a negative verb. Okay, so I'm just going to clear this again and I'm going to scroll down a bit. So here you go. So we stayed in the hotel. We stayed in the hotel. The negative. Uh, for the past simple, if I want to make negative, I need to use didn't. So when I say didn't, after didn't, I need to use infinitive. Stayed becomes stay. Yes. So we need to make sure about that, guys. Yeah? Stay, stayed becoming uh, stay because uh, of didn't. After did and didn't, we use infinitive, guys. So they bought some uh, postcards because they didn't. Now, bought becomes buy. Infinitive of bought is buy. So they didn't buy any souvenirs the people were unfriendly now here if you look we got here where where is uh, b form of b past simple of b when we have got verb b m is r was where and when we want to make a negative from them we not gonna use a uh, do or don't or did or didn't we're not going to get help from them. Instead, we're just going to add not to that uh, form of the verb be. So, were becomes weren't. The people weren't very helpful. All right? Uh, number four, I swam in the sea becomes I didn't swim. I didn't swim. We rented a flat. We didn't rent we didn't rent a car okay so they made a mistake here we didn't rent a flat it should be that's fine so we rented we didn't rent he spent a month in bangkok he didn't spend he didn't spend he didn't spend not spent spend because uh, it has to go back to infinitive form. Okay, so that's done. So we're going to move to C part. 
Okay, let's go to the C. C, as you can see, uh, it's asking us to complete the text. We have got the text here, the holiday that wasn't. Um, to complete the text with the past simple form of the given verbs. Here are the verbs given. Okay, so we're going to work on them. So the other verbs. Arrive, ask, book, cannot, decide, go, book, take, want. So we're going to work on them now. Right. Um, let's start. So the holiday that wasn't four years ago, we decided. So decided is gone here. As you can see, they're using ED form. We decided to go away for the weekend. We to go to Portugal. Portugal. So we wanted is better here. We wanted. We wanted to go. We wanted to go to Portugal. So we're going to remove want. So we a beautiful apartment online. So we, so we're going to put the verb in number three, a beautiful apartment online. What can we do online, guys? We cannot arrive online. We cannot ask we can ask online, but we can't ask beautiful apartment. So the best one is book. Okay. So we booked. So we booked because you're going on holiday. So we booked. We booked. Huh? We don't say we booked. We had to say booked. Booked. Uh, booked. We booked a beautiful apartment online a week online. A week later, we a taxi to the airport. Okay, so we took a taxi. We took a taxi to the airport. We, the airport at two o'clock. So at, uh, usually we use arrive. After arrive, we can say in or at. Arrive in a country, arrive in Russia, arrive in England, or we can also use city, arrive in Moscow, arrive in Istanbul, arrive in London. But when we talk about buildings like airport or restaurant, cinema, we say we arrive, arrived. We arrived. Uh -huh. We arrived at the airport uh, at two o'clock. And we to check in. So we went to. We went. We went to check check in. So went also. So go. We are using two times. One is gone now. The woman at the desk asked for a passport. So ask it. The woman at the desk asked us for a passport. Okay. We in our bags and in our coat pockets. So we got here, look. So we looked in. We looked in our bags and in our coat pockets, but we couldn't, right? We couldn't. We, we couldn't, you got it? We couldn't find them. So we went home. So we went home again. It was a miserable weekend. So miserable, it means very unhappy weekend. Okay, so that's done. Now, now what we're going to do is we, we've understood what happened uh, on this holiday. Now, according to that text, we're going to do uh, exercise of how to make questions and this is in exercise d i'm going to remove every uh, writings now okay here you go exercise d exercise d as you can see we have got uh we've been given the answers here we've got answers so according to the answers we should make the questions guys Okay, so let's start. Now, the first one is four years ago. The answer is four years ago. So when did they decide to go away for the weekend? 
So they decided to go away for the weekend four years ago because this is four years ago. Now, where to go? Portugal. So Portugal is here. Portugal is here. And here, if you remember, we used wanted. We want. Uh, we wanted to go. So now we've got to make a question now here. Where did they want to go? Where did they want to go? They wanted to go to Portugal. All right, guys? They were making question. Wanted. Where did they want? They booked. They booked it online. They booked it. They booked it online. So they're talking about the apartment. So how did how did they book how did they book the apartment they booked it online what time at the airport so at two o'clock two o'clock here uh, at two o'clock we arrive it was we arrive it if you remember we arrive it so what time did they we put the subject and then we put arrive. What time did they arrive at the airport? At two o'clock. The women asked for their passports. Number five. The women asked for their passport. So what at checked in asked for? So what did What did the woman, what did the woman at the check-in ask for? The woman asked for their passports. They went home. The so number six, where did, so this went, so where did they go where did they go in the end in the end they went home all right guys so in this way we've finished the first page I think what do we have oh yeah we've got pronunciation here pronunciation we can also do quickly so in pronunciation uh, relates to ed how to pronounce ed endings in past simple um circle Circle the verb which has a different ed sound. Now, when the verb ends with k, for example, uh, or ch or sh, for example, yeah, and we do uh, we add ed to them, we have to say it t like walked, walked or asked, asked. Uh -huh. But now, when the verb ends with t or d, uh, t or d. Then you're going to put, uh, if you add ed, then it will be id, id. So it's a different sound, like rented, rented, huh? walked, asked. I'm not saying walked, huh? the walked, asked, rented. Number two, argued, wanted, stayed. Argued, argued, stayed, same. But wanted is different wanted number three booked started decided started decided and booked the so booked is different sound here guys arrived arrived invited found found arrived invited so invited is different sound because of t the verb is ending with T. So it will be invited. Now, waited, cooked. It is cooked. And then watched, watched. So waited is going to be a different sound. We can double check. I'm going to play the audio now. 2.1 2A Pronunciation 
One. Walked. Asked. Rented. Two. Argued. Wanted. Stayed. Three. Booked. Started. Decided. Four. Arrived. Invited. Phoned. Five. Waited. Cooked. Watched. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next page, page 13, and that is vocabulary. We're done with the grammar, now we're going to work on uh, vocabulary, guys. So, uh, complete the phrases. Complete the phrases. So here, go camping, as you can see in the picture, go camping. Number two, that is go for a walk. Go for a walk. Go for a walk, right? Next one is book. Book a flight online. Book a flight online. Number four, as you can see, the passport, and then you got ticket. So that would be go abroad. Go abroad. Go abroad. Go abroad. Go abroad. The number five is go swimming. Go swimming. Okay. Number six, go out at night. So go out at night. Number seven, um, stay in a hotel. Stay in a hotel. And number eight is go sightseeing. Right, so sightseeing is a little bit challenging to write. So S I G H T sight, and then S double E I N G sightseeing. Okay, so sightseeing is for tourist people when they go to other countries uh, for touristic purposes. They like to see the places of uh, visit places of you know it's places which deserves to to see as interesting places historical places uh, this kind of activity we say go sightseeing and this one number nine as you can see this lady is sunbathing so like sunbathe sun bathe now if you don't put e after th it becomes sun bath sun bath then, like when you put e, it becomes verb sunbathe on the beach. All right. And number ten is, as you can see here, only two days, and they are weekend. So go away. Go away for the weekend. Go away for the weekend. Okay. So we've done that part. Now B. Is asking us to complete the sentences with an adjective. I'm going to scroll down a bit. Let's clear this off. Okay, here you go. Now we need to use the adjectives. Okay, right. Give me a second. Okay. The first one is done already. We loved our room. It was very comfortable. Comfortable, not comfortable. Huh? We'd say comfortable, comfortable. Number two, the weather was warm and sunny. So we're going to write S, U, double N, and Y. Sunny every day. Number three, there were a lot of people on the beach. So if there are a lot of people on the beach, it's very crowded. So C, R, O, W, D, E, D. Number four, the hotel was on a busy road, so it was really noisy. Okay, 
noisy. Because it's on the busy road, it could be noisy. Number five, the staff in the hotel were very and sometimes quite unfriendly. So this is UNH, so that must be un unhelpful. So we go here, unhelpful. Unhelpful. Number six, there wasn't much in the apartment. There wasn't much in the apartment. It was very basic. It was very basic. So if there wasn't much in the apartment, it must be basic. It didn't even have a fridge. Okay, number seven. The other people on the trip were very, we made some good friends. They made, they made some good friends. So the people, they must be friendly. Friend, friendly. Okay. So number eight, the town was, all the houses had flowers on the balcony and were painted different colors. So the town was lovely. Lovely, lovely. Because there are flowers, beautiful, uh, painted with different colors. We call this town as lovely town. It was all day. Number nine. So we couldn't sunbathe. So it was cloudy. Cloudy. Number 10. The apartment was very, it was full of expensive furniture and very comfortable. So um, it was full of expensive, luxurious. So L U. X U R I O U is luxurious. Okay, guys. Now B is done, so we're moving to exercise C. So I'm gonna scroll down. And I think this is the last last exercise. The so exercise C is asking us to uh, make to write the questions and Lucy's answers. So it's about the Lucy, as you can see, where did you go, where you go, past simple, about last year. If it's last year, we must make the questions in past simple. So where did you go, where you go, we have got the prompts here, from the prompts. Prompt, it means something that helps us. Prompt. <clears throat> Where did you go, uh, Lucy? I went to Greece. Okay. Now I'm going to um, do the second. How you get there? So how did you get there? See how did you get there? So plane. So I got there by plane. That's what Lucy is saying, right? So it's about Lucy. So I got there by plane. I got there by plane. Now, number three, where you stay? So um, I want to ask where she stayed. So where did you stay? Where did you stay? Hotel. So I stayed in a hotel. In a hotel. Okay. So that's done. How long you stay? So how long did you stay? How long did you stay? So I want to know about the period of time. How long did you stay? So I stayed there for 10 days. For and days. What you do. Number five. What did you do? And question mark. So I went swimming. I went swimming. That's easy. Now the B, we have got B, guys. When we got B, then we can't use did here. So we're going to use B itself. So what was 
the weather like? So what was the weather like? What was the weather like? What was the weather like? It was sunny, right? It was sunny. Now the exercise D is asking us to do it about yourself. So obviously this must be your own practice because if you practice it yourself, you will learn obviously better. Uh, but you know, on my last holiday, I went to and I went to you can be, I went to uh, where I went to Egypt, for example. You can say, I went to Egypt. Writing is always important, guys. When you write, you learn better in any language. So try to uh, do a lot of exercise in in writing. On workbook, you have to write a lot. So um, how did you get there? So. It will be, I got there by plane. So from England to Egypt, obviously, you cannot go on walking or on train or something like that. So the best way or the only way I could say is going by plane. So I got there by plane. I got there by plane. And where did you stay? So I stayed in a hotel or I stayed uh, with my friends, maybe. I stayed at my... If you have got a friend in Egypt, I stayed at my friend's house. Or you can say friend's flat. Uh, not flat, sorry. Flat. And how long did you stay there? So I stayed, I stayed in Egypt for, let's say, for a month. Why not? It's hot country, nice country. So I stayed in Egypt for a month. And uh, what did you do? Uh, so I went swimming. So you can say I went sightseeing because you can see the pyramids there, uh, the old Egyptian museum. The wind, I went sightseeing and, and swimming. Okay. Sunny. How was the weather like? So it was, it was lovely and sunny. Or oh, it was bright. You can also say it was bright. It was bright and sunny. It was amazing and so on. All right, guys. So that's enough. Uh, we're going to continue with the rest of the uh, workbook in the next videos. Thank you.